you have to still maintain your sense of responsibility towards your environment, towards your work, towards your organization. Because if work does not continue, if the organization does not manage to survive as an organization and it collapses, then guess what happens? Everybody loses. You will lose, the organization will lose, and your people will end up being unemployed. Now, put unemployment on top of the pressures of the changing environment. You can imagine how stressful that will be. You're already suffering from, you know, whatever big challenge is that is force majeure and beyond your, you know, beyond your, uh, your level of control. And on top of that, now you're unemployed. Why? Not because of your fault, because the organization has collapsed. So the level of your pressure and your trauma is like skyrocketing. So what do you do as a manager or as a big boss or, you know, or somebody who wants to exercise leadership? So you become realistic, you know how to manage yourself properly so that you can, you know, you're strong enough so that you can carry yourself and carry your team. You adjust your expectations to whatever is acceptable and realistic considering the changing environment, you know, expectations from the team. You provide your team with as much support as you can, but at the same time you have to educate your team and, and, and put them in the same mindset that you have in terms of making sure that the organization keeps moving because everybody loses if the organization suffers. So it is going to be hard on them. Yes, it is already hard on you and it's hard on everybody. And what options do we have except for adapting and being strong and patient and learning new techniques, all of us in our own ways, so that we can at least emerge out of this difficulty with minimum damage and then go back to whatever we call a normal situation and then, you know, go back probably maybe, maybe to our growth mode, you know, where we can evolve as individuals, as careers, as, a, as an organization, professionally, like it used to be before these, you know, challenging times. So, to summarize, Difficult, different situations require different, you know, um, procedures. You exceptional conditions require exceptional ways of management. You organize, you reorganize your set of priorities. You adjust yourself to your new reality, but you keep your eye on what matters most, and that is making sure that you, your team, and the organization continue to survive. It is going to be hard. That's the nature of reality, but that's also the nature of human being. We're tough, we're strong, and we're very adaptive. And your job is to make sure that all of the strengths, you know, um, toughness, resilience, um, and, and creativity, empowerment, you know, comes to the surface so that everybody at the individual level and organizational level get out of this and, you know, go back to normal.